going to talk about copy object. So first we come to the source code folder, create a new file, chain.copy.js, we import this chain.copy.js. So uh, this is source code folder, chain.copy.js. Yeah, it's Ronnie right here. So first we're gonna talk about object dot assign copy objects. We learned this uh, method yesterday. Uh, it should be yesterday. Uh, so basically object dot assign can copy a, a object from one object to other to the, the other. So for example Object two console log object dot object dot sign obj one obj two yes one two three <coughs> so uh, now this these two objects are the same right so for example, if the C in object one is four and object two th attribute C is three, so what we uh, what we expect is the final result should be uh, uh, still object two, right? So one, two, three is object two. Uh, so suppose there is a D called five. Yes, one, two, three, five, right? So everything just work fun, works fun. But suppose um, okay, suppose there is the C C attribute is not a basic data type, it is an object. See, there is a D of five inside. So now, what we expect the output value should be C object comma and three, right? There should be a there should be two values: one object and a, one basic data type is it is three, right? But now, what we got still one to three. It is still one to three, which is not seems quite right. Uh, the reason why because uh, when we use the object object dot assign to copy a object, it only copies address of attribute of reference data type attribute so what does that mean well let's do a quick review so there are two type of data type two types of data type in JavaScript one is uh, basic data type include number, stream, boolean, null, undefined, and reference data type. Um, object, array, and function. 
basically. So what are the difference between the data types? So this one stored in the stack memory, and this this data types attributes or elements of this data type. stored in the heap memory and address stored in the stack memory. Yeah. So every time if you create a new object, uh, it will just give the new object will take a, a take some space from heap memory, and after that object have an address the address gonna be assigned to a variable um, like let obj1 assign this the address of uh, the object to obj1 and uh, this address is stored in the uh, stack memory so when you copy this object to object 2 through object 1 mm, this method uh, the attributes address not the exact value of that attribute uh, so this is called shell copy so how, 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 how do we tell the difference between shallow and uh, deep copy so shallow copy verse So let a is equal to four, let and let b equal to a, because like a and b four and a four, which is yeah a is four, and b is equal to a and so four and four. What if we change the value of a? Uh, a equal to five. Four and a uh, five and a four. What does this mean? So the change of a does not affect b. This is deep copy. The change of uh, a does not affect uh, b. So when uh, when it is the scenario, uh, it, it will affect the uh, B. So, shallow copy object three uh, eight, five B six eight. Let object four equal to object three. Right, so now object four and object three should be exactly the same, right? What if we change the value of object three dot a equal to ninety nine light so this is object three? So it's 99. So both object 3 and object 4 has been changed. The reason why is because when you assign object, object, object 3 to object 4, you assign a choice of object 3 to object for not not the exact value only the address so when the value in the heap memory has been changed it changes both two variables both object 3 and object 4 and this doesn't affect uh, right when a changed this because this is the basic type 
this is ba basically the type. They, they both store in the uh, stack memory. So what if we want to do a deep copy? Deep copy method one. There are two methods. It's called string defy plus parse. What does string if I do? Object five equal to I will give it a C. C is an object. C has an attribute D seven. So what does string if I do? Um, you use it this way select str string object 5 dot string uh, j json dot string b5 object so like str see a5 B six C D seven. So what does this do? Convert object into string into a string of JSON formatting. And JSON means JavaScript. Uh, object notation is a kind of like an uh, object as well uh, but actually uh, its format is a, a, it is a string so basically you, you use this method you convert the object into a screen so that you can lock all the attributes and the values right so now suppose we want to copy this object we do let Object six dot uh, equal to JSON dot parse str console object six. We don't well, object six and object five should be exactly the same right now, right? So we change one value of object five. Uh, object five equal to Ninety-nine. We change up the value of uh, attribute of object five. So let's see if, as you can see it here, okay. this is the object six, the copy of object five. So we change the value of C in object five. It's already been the C attribute has already been uh, ninety nine, but in okay, but in object six, C is still an object, you know, with the attribute D. So it means that the change of object five does it affect of object six, six. This is deep copy. So you can use these two method and this method convert JSON string into object. You can use this two method to do the deep copy. So uh, we have another, we can also create deep copy function manually so uh, understand uh, everyone can understand how it works right so object seven I could see. Mm. Okay. let's do so first we create this deep copy man 
master. We use arrow function, right? There is an arranging. There is an arranging object. We, we, we finally we return uh, result, which is a new object, right? Copy. Uh, or you can call it target. Orange and target, right? So we need a result. Okay. So uh, finally, we're gonna return the new object. Um, it should be. A, it could be an object. It could be a basic value. It could be an array, right? So, which means every time if there is a new value passed into the function deep copper function you have to check the data type first right what if uh, the origin is just a basic data type right you can just return that directly to the new uh, uh, to, 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 to the new uh, to the target right so data type data So how sh how can we just check the data tab of uh, uh, the past the the uh, data tab of the argument data tab of the parameter? The first thing came in our man is tab of right. Suppose okay. Um, let's do re equal to re. That obj equal to obj. So there are two up. There are there is a ar variable. There is a, ob a obj variable. Uh, let's do uh, console. Okay, just tap of obj. It's an object. Tap of ar. It is also an object, right? So you can just not return, uh, right? You can not ret return that uh, specifically. ER should be returned as a uh, array object, right? But a return object. So we, which means we cannot use this method to check the data tab. Uh, what we can do, <coughs> there is a function uh, ES5 is called object prototype to stream method call origin so let's, uh, let's see what what happened here so object dot prototype dot to string dot call dot er. So we know that er is actually an array. Right? It return a string uh, square bracket object array. What if we do obj object object? We do a number object number. We do a boolean object boolean so actually this part is what we want array object number right so we can do uh, we can return the slice eight yeah, minus one so the data tab should be a uh, what it, it returns should be a uh, object or mm, array stuff like that right so now we know that the data, what data tab, uh, the parameter is, the past, uh, the value, uh, the past value is. So now we have to deal with it. Uh, so if data tab equal to object, what we should do, we uh, assign Uh, empty object 
so that we can do it uh, we can just copy the object too right mm, so what if else if data type equal to array result empty array so except these two data tabs there is a In the reference data type, there's object area and a function. For this case, for this moment, I don't, I don't want to deal with the function. Uh, in this method, we can just talk about this later, how to deep copy the function stuff. Because even this, uh, even this method. Except function. Even this string stringified pass method cannot copy the function. It only copies uh, object in object or uh, every attribute in an object. So we only deal with this to the tab reference this tab for this case. So else, what else is? Uh, they are all basic data type, right? Boolean string number stuff like that so what if if it is basic data type just return origin directly right so it should be just returned directly so uh, what if they are not they are not basic data type we have to deal with it so we just copy them to the target. We copy copy them into the result, right? and we return the result directly uh, eventually. What we do? Um, so if so, we have to find a method which we can traverse both object and array it should be for n that i n origin uh yeah we sh yeah we should use this method because it works on both um or uh, array and methods uh, and objects so um, that value equal to origin i right so this is the current value of this ob object uh, so suppose uh, how do we know because the value could be uh, an area an object as well right so we have to check that again um, so we just uh, data type object proto Value slice eight to minus one, right? So we know the data type. What if it, they are still object and array data type equal to object or data type equal to array? What do we do? We just do deep copy again, right? So this is, obviously this is a recursion. We do the deep copy again. So result i equal to um, deep copy value, right? Finally, we result we 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 return result as a basic data type, or we just uh, pass that into the deep copy again and again to do uh, recursion. Else, return. Ah uh, no. Result. I equal to value. Right. 
but if it is uh, and basic data type it should be returned as the basic value read without i right yeah uh suppose okay just let's try this suppose there are two objects object seven seven and uh a one b two c d five six Do to copy object eight equal to deep copy object seven object eight. We change the value of object seven. Object seven dot c equal to ninety nine. We display the object eight again. This is object eight, uh, which is a copy of OBG seven. OBJ seven O D five. Yeah, this is all which is a copy of object C uh, object seven A, A B C D six, right? So after uh, object seven has been modified, so C has been modified as ninety nine, and we dis uh, display the object eight again. Let's see, it's still here. So we do it successfully, right? Mm, the post there is uh, okay. Just yeah. So mm, it means that even uh, attribute of OBJ seven modified. This won't affect OBJ eight, which makes deep copy function a deep copy, right? So this uh, this is pretty much everything we're gonna talk about uh, today. We talk about the the issue of object dot assign uh, this master actually did a shallow copy, right? So the difference between the shallow copy and the deep copy is the sh uh, <coughs> when you change or when you assign one uh, variable to another way and you change the attribute or value of uh, original variable, it won't affect the second variable. This is called deep copy. And the shallow copy is you assign the address of one variable to another so when you change the original variable the second variable gonna be changed as well at the same time so how to do deep copy the first method is stringify and parse but uh, this method cannot uh, deep copy a uh, function uh, you use this way and uh, we family we do it manually so then everybody understand how it works right so we check we check the data tab and we do deep copy uh, deeper and deeper layers in deeper and deeper layers so finally if you again if you change the modified attribute of one origin object it will affect the second the target object right so